guys, Yasas Kekalos Seifete to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. I'm dedicating this video to apple pie filling. I've used this recipe in several of my um, dessert dishes. And if you've been following me for a while, you're, it's going to look familiar. This is the best apple pie filling that you will ever taste. The apples are the perfect, um, they're cooked perfectly. They're, they're, almost, they're like pasta is, you know, al dente. That's how these apples are cooked. They're, they still hold together. There's a beautiful caramel sauce just the right amount of sweetness. You can use this filling to put in pies or tarts or strudels, or you can uh, have it in your fridge and then warm it up and serve it on top of ice cream, yogurt, oatmeal. The options are endless. Again, like I said before, this um, apple filling can be made way ahead of time. So if you're thinking about a dessert for Thanksgiving, have this apple pie filling ready because the next post that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys right after I post this one, is going to be my apple pie tart, and that is beautiful and delicious, so have this on hand. But like I said before, you can make this ahead of time. So if you're planning your dinner party and you don't wanna make everything on the same day, make the filling a week before and you'll be good to go. Life will be so easy. Let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to start off with nine or 10 apples. I'm using gala apples, gala apples, how do you guys call them? Anyway, you're gonna to wanna to peel them, core them, and slice them. I've already done uh, nine of them, they're ready. Uh, so I'll just demonstrate this one. Um, if you are gonna be planning on making lots of this filling, like I do, I make this all season long, we love this in our house, um, you're gonna maybe wanna invest in a, in a machine that peels and cores apples. I don't know, I've never used one. Is there one that you guys like if you have one? Because this is pretty much the only time consuming part of this whole thing, peeling and coring and doing all of that to the apples. It's not hard at all, as you will see. It just takes a little bit of time. Okay, so you're gonna wanna peel it first, cut it in half, and then I like to use a little mini ice cream scooper, but you could use a spoon and just peel out the core. You can get these little bits out too. I'm trying not to destroy the apple, we're gonna need slices. I don't know, I don't really buy too many gadgets just because I end up using um, <laughs> these types of things anyway and they end up collecting dust in my garage. But if you guys know of a really good one that's worth it, let me know in the comment section and I will test it out. Okay, and then just cut it into slices. You don't want the slices too thin where they're gonna melt and fall apart in the filling or too thick where they're gonna stay real, you know, uncooked. This is what you're looking for. And if there's a little bit of skin left on there, don't worry about it. Clean up as you go. Okay, so once the apples are prepared, you're gonna to wanna to melt one stick of unsalted butter in a pan that's heating over medium high heat. It's almost melted. So now I'm gonna add all of the apples, careful so that the butter doesn't splash and burn you. And then you're just gonna add all the remaining ingredients. One cup of light brown sugar, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, four and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. It's known as corn flour overseas and uh, we use it as a thickening agent. This is what's gonna make the sauce nice and thick and also just give it that perfect consistency. And one, I like to put heaping tablespoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my favorite flavors in desserts. And a nice pinch of salt because salt brings all the flavors together. The only, the only ingredient that's left in this is heavy cream. We're gonna put that in the end. So the apples are gonna release their juices and as soon as um, they heat up and the juices start to bubble. It's gonna start to thicken fairly quickly. Don't step away from this and start doing something else because once it sticks and it burns, you have to start all over and nobody wants to do that once, they're, once they finish <laughs> peeling 10 apples, right? So once it thickens, you're gonna wanna take it off of the heat and I'll show you exactly the consistency that you're looking for. So sometimes uh, the apples will release more water and the sauce takes a little bit more Time, more, it takes a little longer to thicken. You don't wanna cook this longer. You wanna keep in mind that you wanna get this off the heat 
as fast as possible because you don't want the apples to break down. So if you're seeing that everything's sort of melted and it's cooking for longer than two or three minutes, what you're gonna wanna do is take maybe another tablespoon of cornstarch and dilute it in a little bit of water and add it to your um, apple mixture. That's gonna help thicken it a little bit faster. If the opposite happens, which rarely happens, but sometimes the cornstarch uh, thickens it a little bit too much and it's, it's gonna start to look pasty, you could just add some water to it or some more heavy cream to, thick, to thin it out a little bit. But trust me, that rarely happens unless you go really heavy handed in the beginning with the, corn, with the cornstarch, which I recommend that you don't do that because you could always add more and it's kind of hard to uh, thin it out afterwards. So I'll stand here mixing this and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. So the apple pie filling is ready, it's done. What you're gonna wanna do at this point, once you add the cream and you mix it all up, is you're gonna wanna let it set aside and cool completely before you use it in any of your pie crust or um, puff pastry, if you're gonna make strudel out of it. You wanna make sure that this is at least at room temperature. I really do suggest that once it gets to room temperature, you chill it in the refrigerator. It's gonna be even easier to use, but if you wanna serve it like this over some ice cream, it's gonna be delicious, that's all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna give it a little taste. Not that it needs one, but I think I made this hundreds of times, definitely. I used to make big, huge buckets of this at the bakery. You know those, I don't know if you've ever seen them, they're probably five gallon buckets. We used to make maybe 15 of those during Thanksgiving time, at a time. <laughs> There's something so comforting about apples and cinnamon. It smells wonderful, tastes delicious. It's one of my favorite flavors this time of year and probably of all time. This is delicious. Like I said, if you wanna thicken it a little more, you just add some more cornstarch. If you wanna thin it out a little bit, you could add a little bit of water if you don't wanna to go too heavy on the cream and then finish it off with some cream. But this is the consistency that you're looking for. Make sure that that's what it looks like, the apples should also be fork tender. They shouldn't be mushy or falling apart or melting. And that's it. This is all you need to make delicious apple pies, tarts. Save this recipe because the next one that I'm posting, like I said, is going to be an apple pie tart and you're going to want to look out for it. If you want the exact measurements, they're on the website, DemetriusDitches.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.